Hey guys, this is your friend Aditya aka The Razor Guy and today I'm gonna teach you all how to update your Motorola Razor XT910 to ICS Direct Ice Cream Sandwich Android version 4.0.4 .4. So let's get on with it So guys, before you begin updating your device to Android 4.0.4, I would like to tell you something important. The update which you will put in your device is not the final ICS released by Moto, perhaps it's a European leak. This is for those who really want to update their device to ICS. The leak works perfectly fine and with all the goodies of the ICS that Motorola has to offer. Now you should keep in mind that after updating your device to this Android 4.0.4, you cannot downgrade back to and your gingerbread which your device came with. That is you cannot come back to Android 2.3.6 or 2.3.5 after you get on to Android 4.0.4. If you are aware of the consequences and the risks involved in the update, then follow the video. So guys, before you begin, you need to make sure that your device is running Android 2.3.6 with the system version 6.0.1. And the build number 6.5.167 SPU15M23. If you are running any other system version of build number other than this on 2.3.6, then this update won't work on your device. You need to make sure that you are running stock Android 2.3.6 with this system version and build number which I showed you just now. The next thing which you need to make sure is that you haven't done any mods or haven't frozen any apps on your Razer. You should be running complete stock 2.3.6 with all its apps and it should be only just rooted, nothing other than that. And the last thing which you need to make sure is that you have enough battery. Your battery should be more than 70% to suffice your device for the update. Otherwise, if your battery drains out while updating, then your device can get into serious trouble. So before we begin updating, we need to download two apps from the market. Both of the apps are free. One is ES File Explorer and the other one is ROM Manager. Then when both the apps are installed on your device, open ROM Manager and hit the OK button if it comes. Then go back to home, then choose, then open ES File Explorer and there hit menu then go into settings, scroll down to path settings and choose up to root. Then go down further and in the root settings choose root explorer and mount file system. This is only available if you are rooted. So make sure that you are rooted. Then go back and put the update file in your external SD card. After you have put the update file in your external SD card, just simply go into your external SD card folder, copy the update file to the cache directory of your device. When the update file is copied to the cache directory, just simply click the update file and choose ROM manager. And then press OK.
When the installation starts, it will take about 10 to 15 minutes to do. So just wait patiently. When the update is complete, your device will directly boot up into ICS. And after everything is loaded, we can see that ICS is installed on our device. You can go and confirm the system version of your device. It is now changed to 672.180.33 XC910 Retailed EN.EU. The Android version has changed to 4.0.4 The web top has changed to 3.0.0 Kernel has changed to 3.0.8 And the build number has also changed to 6.7.2180 SPU19 TA112 I hope you guys liked my video Please comment and subscribe Thank you